So I'm going to say it's the sum of the collections. So there we have that. And we could then credit the, the receivable. And now our cash should look a lot better. So we're going to go up to cash. We're going to double click on it and go to the end of it. Plus, and then we're going to have our cash here. And our accounts receivable, double click, go to the end of it. Plus, and we're going to say the receivables there. Okay, and then we had some miscellaneous items that happened. So that, that's going to take us through this stuff here. So we basically did the cash here. We did the receivables. So we did that. And then we have the cash budget. And we had some other kind of miscellaneous items. We had this loan interest here. So we've got the, if we want to record that out, we'd have to say that we have interest expense again. Interest expense. And that's for the 120 it was. And we're crediting something and we're going to pay that with cash. Interest expense and cash. So that's the 120 cash is going down with the credit and interest expense is going up with the debit. Okay. And if we scroll back down, so we say, okay, we took care of that miscellaneous type item down here. So that's that one. We already recorded this interest. We're okay there. Uh, then we had this equipment. We put the equipment and we paid cash for equipment. We didn't have finance it or anything. So we're just going to say the equipment on the books. We got more of that. It's going to go up with a debit. And we're going to pay it all with cash. So cash is going to be the 130 on both sides. 130 and 150.